I do geometry and I calculate geometrical objects. Oh, there we go. This is a configuration of regular tetrahedra called the 20 group. When you restrict all of the side lengths to be unit length, what happens is you get gaps. The idea is you rotate everything until it locks in place. The notion is that down at the Planck scale in space, everything is discretized into a point space. And we think that this is representative of the structure of the Planck scale discretization of space. So we're working with E8, it's an eight-dimensional lattice of points being projected down into four-dimensional space and then from there we project it down into three dimensions to get something that we think might be the point space that the universe operates on. So here we have points in space. A lot of these points are in four dimensions so I can rotate the points in the fourth dimension. This is just a projection down into three-dimensional space. And I'm highlighting some vertices uh, off and on randomly. The vertices are taken from the point space. And here I can view them and, and really get a feel for what I'm looking at. Well, let me get some more vertices going. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> there we go. What is this? <laughs> Other than so, this super cool. This is a set of points that I'm working with. Um, down at the Planck scale, we believe that space is quantized uh, distance-wise into a set of points. Instead of being a smooth manifold, a smooth uh, space, a continuum, that really you have uh, one thing jumping to a, the next point, jumping to the next point. And that's what motion really is, traveling from one vertex to the next. Here is part of that. It's like a video game. Mm hmm. Except more fun because I create it. So is reality a video game? Well, that's the real question. Is reality made out of actual stuff, made of things, or is it? more of a moving, you know, is it just all information? Is it all ethereal? You know, can you go down to the atomic, subatomic, quantum level and see things moving around or is it just really a collection of in information? That's the question that, that's being asked by QGR. That's the question at the heart of our research.